Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to share my trip to Chicago and my first commercial brew with Pilot Project. My Medusa Pale Ale will be available in their tap room starting Friday, April 29th. Uh, so go check it out if you are in the Chicago area. And I wanna give a huge thanks to everyone who convinced me to do it, helped me to do it. Uh, Dan Abel and Jordan Radke, the co-founders of Pilot Project. Glenn Allen, the head brewer who basically did everything, to be honest, except write the recipe. But even then he adjusted the recipe and is just like such a cool person. My roommate, Selena Hodge, for helping with the amazing artwork. Um, I actually just found the original sketch. She's so cool. Uh, you can check out her other designs at ccinthesky.com. And last but not least, uh, my friend and business partner, Ash Elliott, for convincing me to step out of my comfort zone and go brew not only on a commercial system for the first time, but in a different city that I haven't been to since I was 13. I absolutely adored Chicago. I can't wait to go back. Y'all got some food and I'm a big foodie. So I hope to see all my Chicago friends soon. And uh, here is the video um, telling you a little bit about Pilot Project and of course some behind the scenes footage at the end. I'm here in Chicago at Pilot Project and uh, today I brewed my first beer on a commercial system here at Pilot Project. Yay beer. Yay beer. This is Dan, the CEO and co-founder and owner and all the stuff. Um, so he's gonna give us a tour and kind of tell you guys about what Pilot Project is all about. Let's go inside. <laughs> all right. This is Pilot Project. We are a brewery incubator um, at Sharon. So what that really means for us is our business model is set up to support startup brewers, give them equipment, give them expertise that allows them to ultimately launch their own brands. Um, so we'll walk you around and kind of help tell that story through the context of the breweries that we work for. So this is the tasting room. A really important part of our experience is not only that we're supporting these brewers by producing their product, but that we're also market testing their beers in a real environment. So the construction of our tasting room had all of our breweries in mind, extremely malleable, such that if they want to throw a you know release party, the, the, the style of the space can very easily meld with whatever their brand is. So tasting room. 150 people, big, well, pre-COVID, big parties, hopefully <laughs> post-COVID, big parties, but right now, very sensibly seated uh, people throughout the space. It's not very pretty out yet um, for the season, but this is our patio that in the summer is, is bumping in the same way that the indoors is. Um, but again, a great space for any of our breweries to kind of help cultivate their own fan base and, and feel love in Chicago. train was timed perfectly for that shot. <laughs> Don't you love that we also uh, have our exterior storage? <laughs> hey, at least there's a mural on it. <laughs> well timed. Sarah. This is, this is my co-founder, Jordan. He and I have been best friends are five years old and we launched the business together. What did you pour for us today, Jordan? I have a, an Azadi Thai Pass Lager and I have our house sour. Very cool. Yeah, we're both, yes. both delicious. So part of the pilot project is not just supporting the breweries that we're launching, but also local artists. And so to drop the space, everything that is here is hand 
handcrafted or created by local artisans. Um, we find water to be a very important ingredient in beer, so a lot of the designs are inspired by water. This is a wave crashing over the bar. Our corner is the pivot is a wave that has a Fibonacci sequence. So we just try to lean in outside. There was a big whale. Um, that's just kind of our shtick. Love it. Cheers. Cheers. Stop right here. So this is the brew house. Uh, we have a ten barrel system with it's a free vessel that allows us to uh, on smaller batches retain a higher yield for each uh, batch. Uh, these are 20 barrel fermenters, uh, approximately 5,000 pints in each one of these fermenters. 10 barrel fermenters, so 2,500 pints. And then uh, the brewery dog legs to the left here where we have two 500 uh, pint tanks for doing like super experimental things.